Hey, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Robbie and today we're going to do a little kind of tutorial walkthrough of Flutterflow, but mainly focusing on the UI because I've noticed there's a lot of good information out there, um, but it's a little bit more catered to the backend aspects and a lot of the templates that Flutterflow offers are kind of like outdated looking. So I just thought it'd be cool to do some sort of walkthrough uh, with more of an emphasis on the UI. So I was thinking about messing around with this um, this file, this Figma file I came up with real quick called Zumos, Zumo Amigos, two students, and um, just kind of like maybe making a quick, beautiful looking sort of like smoothie recipe app. And so I just did a little quick branding, like what an app could look like in this kind of idea. And then so let's get into it. So I kind of have this background image that I already exported that just has this cool like kind of grain that I made on, on Photoshop. And now let's figure out how we can make that background image uh, throughout the app. Pretty much I'm figuring out that I have no idea how to get a background image here, but I did find one hack that I will show you right now. Okay, so as you can see, I solved that issue of getting the background image and this is how I did it. What I did was I created a new page and then I used the template um, Abraham's template for login sign up because they have this massive background image. And then on name this is the Zumo home. And what I did is I just took this widget right here, which for some reason, I, I'm not really sure how they got this. Um, but what I do is I just replace that with my image. And I go to asset or asset image background, bam. And then I got it right here and then I can delete all this stuff. Now let's replace this logo now with um, our logo. So I can export this from Figma. I usually do 2X, uh, PNG is fine for now. All my logos except the logo. There it is. Nope, it's an old one. Zumo Amigos, here we are. Zumo Amigos. And then let's come down here and do contain. And that width is kind of, one thing I'm learning is in mobile, you need at least 30 in pixels for a button. But with this like kind of big logo introduction, I'm gonna do 300. Oh, that only changed this. Let's do 300 here. There we go. A little too big, 250. A little too big, 200. Okay. What else do we gotta do? We have this cool little text here. Um, juice of the day, health and nutrition. Juice of the day, health, nutrition, health, and let's do recipe. Health, healthy, juice of the day, and healthy recipes. Recipes. And copy that. So right now this font we have is Futura, which isn't a Google font, and Flutterflow only offers Google fonts that I'm aware of. So let's see if we can, what do we got here? Load container, let's add command, uh, command K, I believe is the widget. Nope, all right, whatever. We'll add text, can we just add text here? Yep, yeah, that works. And then I can just copy and paste that text into here. Choose the day, health recipes, and let's get a little more top padding on that. Get 20 pixels there. And Poppins, I think is not the font we want. Um, kind of want something a little sharp like Futura but I'll just go with that for now I think this is 22 let me get this um, hmm. this uh, hint always go for let's do primary color uh oh well, you always want blue in your blacks, so you want to leave your black not fully black, just a little blue and gray in there. And it's much easier on the eyes. Um, I really want this auto size. What is that? Doesn't do anything. Here we go, this is what I'm looking for. My first flutter flow tutorial and honestly i didn't really have a game plan uh kind of ran into that problem with the background image and decided to just 
see if I can show you guys that hack and then a little bit more UI features and I'm kind of learning this as I go and pretty much if you enjoyed it please leave a comment like and subscribe let me know if this is more type of content you want and if so I can kind of put more effort and maybe do some higher fidelity more uh, finely tuned uh, tutorials and kind of walkthroughs I think I'll do a couple more videos with this app Zumo Amigos uh, I really like the design and I think uh, I'm also learning just doing this so please let me know in the comments below and if you are a talented backend uh, developer or Flutterflow uh, beast, please contact me because I got some great app ideas I need uh, to collaborate. So thank you.